Hi there, my name is Hale Yang, I'm a director at BlackRock. I'm here to chat a little bit about tax loss harvesting using ETFs. Before I get into it though, I'd like to just preface with two things. One, as it relates to seeking your own personal tax advice, you should always consult a qualified tax professional to ensure that the advice is personalized to your own facts and circumstances. And two, everything I'm about to say really only applies in a non-registered taxable account. And so if your investments are held in RSPs, ESPs, TFSAs, etc. none of what I'm about to say will really apply. So first a definition. What is tax loss harvesting? Tax loss harvesting is the practice by which investors sell securities and positions in their portfolio that are held at a loss, i.e. where their market value is lower than their cost base, in order to realize that loss or crystallize that loss, in order to then use that realized loss against realized gains, thereby reducing taxes payable on capital gains and, and ultimately deferring taxes into the future. Uh, there's, there's, one, a couple, well, there's a number of things that you'll have to keep in mind as you're doing this practice, but the, the most important thing is uh, something called the superficial loss rule. Upon selling that position at a loss position, uh, at a loss, you can't then sort of repurchase the same or identical property within a 30-day period prior to and subsequent to the sale date. If you do so, you'll trigger what's called the superficial loss rules. That capital loss will effectively be denied and your tax loss harvesting strategy will be effectively negated. So this is where ETFs actually come in. Oftentimes the security you've sold played an important role in your portfolio and you want to retain market exposure to that position even during these 30 day periods. ETFs today offer a broad range of exposures from, from countries to, to regions, to sectors, to factors, to, to exposures even more precise than that. And so they enable you as an investor to basically substitute the, the security that you sold with a very similar exposure without tripping the superficial loss rules and while maintaining market exposure to the asset class that you desired. So for example, say you sell a, an energy stock at a loss to harvest tax losses, you could then purchase an energy equity ETF to substitute that property and uh, retain the market exposure that you received. Another example would be you sell a Canadian active equity fund at a loss. You could then substitute a, an index Canadian equity fund in place of that to sort of, again, retain market exposure while sort of harvesting those losses for the tax benefits that they, that they create. That's a quick overview of tax loss harvesting using ETFs. Again, for more uh, detailed guidance, you should consult a tax professional. Thank you for listening. Thank you.